Hello guys, how is it going? It is Fake Here coming at you once again with another Legends of Runeterra video. Today during my stream, I wanted to continue pursuing my ambitions with Yasuo by testing out some more decks. A few days ago, my first uh, run around with this deck was to go Katarina and Yasuo, quickly realizing honestly that maybe Katarina isn't the best for Yasuo because you sacrifice a lot of tempo in a game where it's quite important, especially since Yasuo and its most of its cards really struggle against aggressive decks, which are quite common to see on ladder. So in the end, I've decided to cut Katarina, focusing purely more on Yasuo and focusing more on controlling the game. Ionia doesn't have many good stun cards in their core set throughout the early game so it makes it quite hard to justify not splashing noxus alongside uh, yasuo although in the future i would hope that ione gets some decent cards in their core set so maybe you might consider splashing other classes because i think there might be some potential with like maybe shadow isles or even for Jord alongside yasuo but just not enough stun cards right now and there's no good tempo recall plays like uh, will of ionia is your best recall card which costs four mana and you don't produce any tempo, which really sucks. So in the end, we're gonna, for now, play Noxus and uh, Ionia, obviously, for Yasuo, and we're just gonna have Yasuo as our only champion because I don't think there's anything else within those two classes that really fits or synergizes greatly with Yasuo. Maybe you can play Zed for a little bit of tempo, but I wanted to focus purely on controlling the game and looking for Yasuo towards the end to finish and then playing the uh, seven mana Ionia card, the... Uh, Samurai guy, the samurai guy that stuns two units, as well as the swift foot, which I'm actually going a bit greedy on by holding two copies in the deck, because that card is just bonkers. It's pretty cool when it actually goes off in certain matchups. It can be a bit of a backbreaker against them because, especially if you're playing expensive cards, someone like Karina maybe, where you kick back their minions and then you just flood, you have your board already kind of flooded, then you can kind of open attack the following turn and maybe kill them. Anyway, we're going to have a couple of games here where we did verse some other off-meta decks. So it's probably not really going to be a strong archetype for now, but we'll have to wait and see what Ionia brings. Hopefully we get some interesting mechanics. Hopefully maybe we get like a Lee Sin who comes in with some good recalling synergy alongside Yasuo, because I can imagine if Lee Sin is the card they reveal, he's probably going to be kicking cunts back to the hand. <laughs> anyway, guys, enjoy the games here and I'll see you tomorrow. And Calorino in general is a very funny card. There's no other cards like it. Where they recall like that when they attack. Huge tempo loss. Huge tempo loss he played on curve. The Prophet. He's playing something special. Some spice here. Something he's been cooking up in his dungeon. So Braum, Lux, Trinomia. What cards would I expect to see? Probably some barriers, some buffs. What cards would it be cutting if he's running these kind of things? And do I bother trying to look for keeping early game? You never go wrong with a house spider in case he's not playing avalanche. It's a decent card to negate some aggression if he actually runs any aggressive cards. Yeah, yeet. Play the house spider. We have no synergis synergistic cards with the blade twirler right now. I think it's a waste of time and we're pushing more damage right now. Alright, so in a few moments, he's going to pass his turn back to me. I'm going to play Shadow Assassin and he's going to avalanche me. So if he goes on the pass immediately, I guess I can play Shadow Assassin now. Yeet. Yeet. Alright, alright. How do I deal with the Braum? Found the answer to Braum. I don't have it. I actually haven't got a clean way to deal with the Braum until super late in the game. And that is once he swears leveled up. I could use this big guy to punch him in the face. Okay, drop the tears. I 
I will play my part. I guess I have to chill and try and set up some sort of combo. Or I could tempo down the Yasuo. This guy's got bulls? Dude, when I started playing, they just nerfed this. They just nerfed it. I don't know what to expect. But I know that he's going to have a bull that will draw bulls. Okay, I guess I play Yasuo. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? End the round. Your turn. Show me what you got. This is fun, yes? Uh, I really wanted to get the key guardian onto you, sorry, but it wouldn't have made much difference in this scenario. It's always just dead. Okay. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Discipline and steel. Paralyzing bite onto the Braum just to buff my Toiler. And then what we're going to do next turn is we're going to stun the Braum. And we're just going to try and punch him in the face. Or well, maybe this stuns the weakest enemy, so... No, we can't play that. Let me tell you, if I see Avalanche... I think that's over for me. So I can't play around Avalanche. Too slow. Too slow. They cannot hide. This attacks. Take on your own speed. This attacks safely. This gets traded into by this. You go like this. And value trade block. Free attacks. Meet them head on. Meet them head on, dude. Oh, he's choosing to take a block here. Okay, fair enough. I'll allow that. Dude. This guy has fucking every card he needs. <laughs> Holy shit. I think I just lose, man. Okie dokie. I'm gonna give barrier to the Minotaur Reckoner. Uh, there could be some opportunities here to get some HP back at least, but... We are providing a minimal tempo. Oh, it's it's your girl, Mina Swiftfoot. She's gonna kick some cunts back to the hand. Actually, I forgot about this card. This could help us out. Um, eat. Block with the 1-1 one, one spider. I don't want to take 3 damage. We're going to stun the weakest enemy. Yes, okay. The barrier is kind of pointless here. I probably should have put the barrier somewhere else. Oh ho 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 That's a buff Brom I need to start planning for about three turns 
so. So. What happens here is I need to float three mana, I think. Hang on, so we've got nine. I'm pretty much not really playing anything here other than maybe a Zeon Wind Chaser just to push some damage. But I need the barrier on his turn so I can barrier one of my units. That he's going to use the Braum on and then I'm going to kick the Braum back to his hand. So I don't really need to play the Wind Chaser or attack this turn. I guess I just need to draw some cards. Hit the swift foot. And swing with the shadow assassin to push two points of face damage to my opponent's nexus. I guess I don't need to play anything. I've got some blockers. Okay, so now he's gonna play for Demacia. I can't wait to kick this Braum back to his hand. I want to keep this alive, yes? I'm actually going to fucking swift foot his face in. Dude, I'm ready to get- I'm going to jump out of my seat. Fuck, kick my monitor, dude. Oh, dude, Braum leveling up. He doesn't get his bow. Oh, man. About to kick your face in, dog. So in the meantime, do I need to play anything? Do I need to play anything right now? I think so. I could pass. Hmm. Maybe I'll just play a Spooda. Alright, what you got? Play something more. Yes, dude. Dude, I'm about to kick this guy's face in! Hello? Oh, dude. Look at that Braum. Look at the size of this Braum. Oh, no, actually, I shouldn't have gave the... I shouldn't have flipped that back to his hand. But I have to choose three units, so whatever. He can summon his balls back. Oh, dude. What to play? Right. Do I want to save this? I mean, he's for Jord Demacia. He legit has like no answers or a board removal. Fuck you, Brom. You get no value. You get no fucking value, you dog. Get back on Summoner's Rift. Go support some trash ADCs. Commit another spell. Fine. That's fine. I'll allow that. Yes. See you later. Fucking bang. Fucking bang. Get him out of here. Now you'll probably play some like Brom. Even though Brom's already leveled. I think ordering is gonna matter here. Hang on. So he will probably want to block the six damage. Dude, ordering does not matter. I guess I just block, swing with the two biggest units first. The end is near, buddy. Oh, ha Give a unit exactly whatever. Dude, who is this guy? Fuck. 
How much HP did he have? I guess it didn't matter what he blocked. We're actually fucking amazing. This deck is the best. Katarina Ash Midrange Frost. Okay. This is not the first time I've encountered a Katarina and Ash deck. Yeet. Don't let the fluffy tails fool ya. Oh, did I verse sack before? I've seen this guy many times. Winter take you. I don't have his idea. Okie dokie, I'll play uh, Shadow Assassin. Pretty sure Zack just memes around this rank as well. You cannot escape. Do I do I want to block? No thanks. I'm okay. I want to get outplayed by some sort of spell. I mean, like there wouldn't actually be many options for him outside of like. Frostbiting my Shadow Assassin so we can take a trade. Okie dokie, I'm going to draw some more cards. Swing with the two Shadow Assassins. So me not blocking there allowed me to end up pushing four damage. Pretty relevant. He's gonna double swing. Sleep is for the guiltless. Our banner will lead the way. You know what? Let's really push our limits here. So this guy has got nine mana to work with. Found the Minotaur Reckoner. I kind of want to play that. Our strength is yours. Bleed. Rough technique. Good results. Rough technique. Good results. Good results, dude. I think it's a really cool addition to this game. Looking at the card artwork in game. Look at this guy. I don't care who wronged you or what they did. You need to make it right in the pit. You pay up front, there's no discount for sad stories. Time of my life, dude. That's me today. Playing your sewer decks. On stream against Zack. Sorry, dude. In fucking all my time. Yeah, yeet. Later, dude. Uh oh. Ooh, I can stun him. I uh, eat, eat. Does the wind flee or does it follow? We're just on the board right now. And here's for George. So what? There's Avalanche. His removal is that wolf. Stunned. Man, I really want to level this up. Sick. Oh, dude, see you later, wolf. Boom! Get slapped! Boom! Um, holy shit, do I just fucking go in?
We get punished by actually um quite a lot. So you can do some burst spell glacial stuff. Cross by it, gets free trades. Not sure if I'm supposed to just sit back and chill. They cannot hide. It is time. I think I want to chill too much. Let's swing with these three. Actually, I probably could have definitely just swung with this and used my barrier on it. I'm expecting expecting to see like a frostbite, the six mana card. His hand must be just full of it. He runs the wolf, so he runs tons of that kind of removal. Uh, I think our deck's just about greedy enough. So there's a the harsh winds. I think I just allow this to happen. There's no answer for the Asuo. Only the finest sir. Oh my god, that's a lot of card draw. <laughs> Tell you what, intim intimidating raw is not finding much value right now. Maybe I do. Yeah, burn some cards. Yeah, whatever. Got the spirit's refuge for a time like this. Weird block. Do not interfere. Want to see these moves up close? It's too late for you. Escape. Expected that. Turn home. Direct. My opponent surrendered. Weird surrender. I wonder if I just keep playing slowly. Then maybe I just win slowly. So I, guess I was getting so much value in between each turn, he couldn't actually respond to it at all. And of all the decks that worked okay, this is the one. I was pretty keen to play that ritual of renewal. 
Pretty greedy card. The early game is just atrocious in this deck. Key Guardian's probably too greedy. Our Spider helps against aggro decks a lot. Keep that for now.